Sox. Boys, you know the Sox coming off that 10-game road trip. Four and six. We come in, we're one game in front of Minnesota, two games in front of the Tigers. You go on a road trip like that, and you come home four and six when we should have come home six and four, maybe seven and three. As long as Ozzie is a manager of this ball club, you're going to find a lot of resilience. Ozzie may be the face of the franchise, but Ken Hawk Harrelson is the voice. This is my 35th year in broadcasting now, and uh, and you have got to work each and every day, prepare. This is no different than playing. We are ready for baseball, and I'm ready to turn over to my play-by-play -play partner, Hawk Harrelson. All right, Stone Pony, thank you once again. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to White Sox Baseball. And that's in the hole. Can he get in? Gun. Nice pick. Pony, yes! Beautiful play both ways. He gone! And he's going to get it and throw it. And there's a base hit. Let's go up. Pick him up. Gutierrez. He can throw. Here's the play. Safe. Here in the second, and this game is tied at one. Hawk's been here almost as long as I have. I came in 81, and uh, we got Hawk in 82. Hawk is short for the Hawk, a moniker bestowed on Harrelson back during his playing days. The Hawk comes up with his fourth home run of the series. After nine big lead seasons, the Hawk landed on the south side. He is the White Sox. You think about the White Sox, you got to think about the Hawk and you know, all his Hawkisms. That ball hit to me. Stretch! Stretch! You know, when I say stretch, stretch, you can put it on the board, yes. Well, that didn't come from baseball. That came from golf. Stretch is from my putty. I'm always getting the short up saying stretch, stretch, you know, get in the hole. Eat your back jumps and makes the catch. You gotta be bleeping me. Mercy. <laughs> when you just spent 25 years in one place, you must be doing something right. And on this night, the Sox were doing everything right. Right here, Omar. There's a shot base hit. Here comes one. He'll score the Sox leading two to one. Don't stop now, boy. The ball hit high. Stretch. 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 He goes up. Looks up. He gets ecstatic when they win. In this day and age, I think home fans, they want to know that their broadcasters are rooting for their team. A fastball right down the middle, probably looking for it, didn't get all of it, but got enough as it kept on drifting. And the fact is, no one cheers louder for the Sox than Hawk. He is so blatantly a White Sox, not only a rooter, but a fanatic about them winning. He gets ecstatic when they win. Yes! Yes! Quite obviously, both Hawk and I sound a whole lot better when the team is winning. We didn't sound that great when we were nine and a half games at Bank of Minnesota and scuffling to try to win on a daily basis. And that'll do it. This game is over. So they shut us down 12 to nothing. But we sound particularly good now. Ground ball, Alexei 